I am Dr. Sushil Kotro. I am working as consultant and head department of endocrinology, a max specialty hospital, Bhatinda. I have with me uh, dietitian Lena Sharma. She is our head uh, department of nutrition, working with me in my department. Today we are going to talk about comprehensive diabetes care. As all of us know, this controlling blood sugar is only a part of story of diabetes management. We have to provide 360 degree diabetes care to the patient. Ours is a department which provides uh, comprehensive diabetes care. Uh, for that, we have a proper team of uh, diabetes educators, counselors, and dietitians. You are doing that care. And I have a podiatrist with me and other technicians also. And I know and all of us know that uh, diabetes education is the cornerstone of uh, diabetes management. There are lots of myths about diabetes and we'll try to correct these myths also. We always organize a session for diabetes patients and the diabetes management starts with diabetes education. She imparts diabetes education for the patients and after going through registration, all the new diabetes patients have to go through that diabetes education. And about the diet part also, uh, all the patients in attendance have to attend that education session and gross uh, diet plan has to be explained in detail to the attendants and the patients. You want to throw some light uh, about the diet part, uh, what type of diet the general uh, diabetes patients have to take. We explain them. There is no uh, diabetes diet. This is basically a healthy diet plan. Yeah. Uh, uh, not only the patient should follow this diet plan, all the uh, members of the family should follow this diet plan. Then only the diabetic patients will also follow the same plan. You want to say something yeah, about that? So, uh, like, uh, so diabetic patient need to uh, control his uh, or her blood sugar levels. So, uh, uh, as Dr. Kotru said, ki it is uh, the diet for uh, even for a normal person. So uh, what we do, we uh, divide uh, diet into three categories. Vese to, uh, diet is always individualized, but uh, if uh, like uh, agar uska kuch basics abhi agar liya jai, to we uh, divide it into three categories. That is red category, yellow category, and green category. Now, first of all, if we talk about red category, uh, in this category, uh, there are foods which we need to avoid. Like uh, this foods is with categorization. high glycemic index, food with high glycemic index, like simple sugars, whether it is jaggery, sugar, honey, or uh, any squashes, bakery products, cake, pastries, chocolate, jam, jellies, and high glycemic index foods uh, like mangoes, bananas, chiku, lychees, we have to avoid. And refined food items made from maida or refined flour like uh, patties or uh, bakery products, all bakery products we need to avoid. Ice creams, cold drinks, pastries, cakes, jams. That also. And we, we should also avoid. avoid red meats because uh, it's yeah. rich in uh, fats, uh, rich highly fats, saturated yeah. fats saturated also. Fats. And uh, so. just want to compare with all the uh, signal, uh, traffic signals, yeah. so red. Red means stop. We need to stop here and before the, taking these foods. And the yellow uh, category? The next category is yellow category. Uh, in this category, uh, there are some foods which we uh, can take but in moderation. Like if you are consuming chapati or rice, uh, that need to be in moderation. This shouldn't be like this. Ki, uh, if you are feeling hungry, then you will take uh, like uh, uh, four to five chapati at once. Or uh, Just to interrupt you, about the chapati yes. and rice, which is better for diabetes patients? Uh, rice is having high glycemic index uh, if we compare it with the wheat. But, Chapati, uh, haan, but we do contain other uh, minerals and vitamins and also fiber. Right? But uh, there's nothing like ki, haan, a diabetic person cannot eat rice. He can eat rice, but he have to add uh, extra salad or extra fiber with it. Vegetables to yes, that, so that yes, it, it, it can, can be lower down the glycemic index. It can index. be in the form of vegetable rice. Right? It Dal shouldn't also. be like uh, biryani or fried rice. It should be steamed or boiled rice right? with extra salad or uh, any source of fiber he can consume with it. The, about the non-vegetarian food? Non-vegetarian foods, uh, one can take eggs, egg whites are recommended, huh, no? yellow ones are not recommended because as it is high in cholesterol and about uh, flesh foods, uh, it should be in roasted form or in grilled form, uh, not in fried form. Uh, like uh, there's like uh, some pa uh, patient asks us, ki, huh, can we eat fish? We say ki, yes, you can take, but what they do, they uh, eat fish pakora. So it is better to eat uh, grilled fish or... Uh, it can be taken in uh, grilled also. form or in curry form. 
But some fruits can be taken. Patients, diabetes patients can take fruits up to 150 to 200 grams and uh, which better uh, or uh, which fruits they should take? Uh, like apple, papaya, mm. guava, pear, strawberries, so they, melon, they, these they fruits can, can be taken yes, by diabetes patients, it's yes. not like that. Uh, but it shouldn't be like this, ki, haan, they are eating half kg of fruit at once, one, na, it should grams. be like 100 so this, this, grams. So these are the yellow categories, so yellow okay. signal, yellow traffic yeah. signal, pulses, in moderation. Pulses, non-veg foods, milk products like curd, lassi and milk, it should be taken in moderation only. And milk, which milk is, uh, that skimmed should be dumped, skimmed, skimmed double milk, tone yes, milk yes, is better. Double tone milk, milk and yes. And the quantity has to be in moderation. And the green signal which can be taken in uh, yes, one can go for green extra quantity. Yeah, there, uh, there are some patients they say ki haan, like we are habitual of taking uh, four to five chapatis at uh, like in one meal and you are saying ki you have to control your weight and you have to keep your sugar levels in control so you can take two to three chapatis only but I cannot feel satisfied with uh, this I amount and what can what else I can take like I feel hungry all the time. So uh, there are some food options they, uh, which they can opt for uh, whenever they are feeling hungry. Like uh, they can take extra salad, they can take cooked vegetable or sorted vegetables. Uh, they should start their meal with salad, yeah. with boiled vegetables. Yeah, that, is, that is better. They can uh, also go for clear soups without, uh, that, is, that should be like without oil or fat. Hai na? And they you see the Indian culture, we are fond of tea, a uh, lot of coffee also. People prefer to use yeah. coffee these days. Better to take black coffee, black coffee green black tea, tea, uh, black tea. Like yeah. Most of the people are fond of tea or coffee. Hai na? And they are concerned about their weight See, also. Yes. The females are very concerned about the weight also. They do say ki haan, they uh, consume uh, like 10 to 15 cups of coffee in a day. So it shouldn't be like a uh, milk coffee. Hai na? It should be like uh, they can take in the form of like uh, green coffee, green uh, tea, black coffee, black, black tea. That is a better option. So this was a gross. Uh, uh, teaching about the uh, diet, uh, what the type of diet and regular exercise is very important. Right? So we are talking about comprehensive diabetes care. So a diabetes patient uh, should know that in addition to following a proper diet plan, exercise plan, following a proper uh, medical treatment, in addition to that, once in a year a diabetes patient has to follow uh, certain instructions, has to go, go for, uh, for some uh, investigations. The fundus examination, that is a retina yeah. checkup, is very important. Mm -hmm. Dental checkup is also important for these patients. And a thyroid checkup for some patients who have dyslipidemia or uh, is very common in our society these days. And diabetes patients they are at risk of having thyroid disorder at the same time, mainly type 1 diabetes. Mm -hmm. And uh, those patients who have some symptoms of cardiac disease, like dyspnea on exertion or angina on exertion, or feeling weakness on walking, so they should also go for cardiac checkup. Food checkup is very, very important and uh, annual inspection of feet, going for uh, foot nerve checkup, very basic checkup, mm -hmm. uh, blood flow in your feet checkup. It should be done by a center uh, who is uh, uh, a person, concerned person. A basic checkup has to be done by the doctor. The food checkup is important. Uh, urine uh, albumin creatinine ratio, checking for urine protein is also important in addition to uh, kidney function test or renal function test. These, these days NASH or NAFLD is also uh, commonly seen in diabetes patients. So checking for liver function test, uh, going for a fibro scan or ultrasound abdomen is also important. So just controlling blood sugar is only a part of uh, diabetes yes. management. So at the same time now we know that diabetes is a syndrome. So you need comprehensive checkup of diabetes patient for that you need, need a comprehensive care center uh, so as to look at all the uh, complications of diabetes. So first we should try to prevent diabetes, work on that, follow a proper lifestyle, follow a proper diet plan, follow a proper exercise plan, start from the childhood only. So prevent diabetes should be our main motto, once the patient has diabetes, control your sugars, control your blood pressure, control your lipids, prevent the complications of diabetes. Once the patient has the complications of diabetes, try to prevent end stage complications. And once the patient develops all the end stage complications, it becomes a very, very costly disease and uh, the patient loses everything financially and socially also and the family, family has to suffer, suffer a lot. So our main message is, so diabetes management needs comprehensive care. We should have more of compre comprehensive diabetes care centers and uh, our department and our center is ready to help uh, more and more primary care physicians and doctors who want to come and who want to
get skilled training at our center and uh, to develop these type of uh, centers or we are ready to share our project with them. Uh, thanks a lot, thanks a lot uh, the Torrent uh, people who have the division also and uh, who has given this opportunity to us to share our ideas. Mm, uh, thanks a lot.